sexually assaulted in her lifetime. A misunderstood. One in six women report rape or an attempted rape at some time in her life. The objectified. Ages 16 to 19 are four times more likely than the general population to be victims of rape, attempted rape, or sexual assault. The vessel of memory. More than 50% of all rape, sexual assault incidents were reported by victims to have occurred within one mile of their home or at their home. The traumatized. Every 90 seconds, somewhere in the United States, someone is sexually assaulted. The anxious. Approximately two-thirds of rapes were committed by someone known to the victim. The idol. More than half of raped college women tell no one of their victimization. The angry. Out of every 100 rapes, only three rapists will spend a day or more in prison. The other 97 will walk free. The product. 42% of rape survivors have sex again with the rapist. The traumatized. Victims of sexual assault are three times more likely to suffer from depression. The healing. My cunt's crucifixion is still in process of resurrection. The shedding. My own skin caving, collapsing in blood. The strength. I hold my vagina palpitating in my hand. The renewal. My mouth asserts pronunciation of the why in my and body. My body the weapon. The water carries my body. 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 The water carries my body, and suddenly epiphany. She told me, Ago holds memory. My nipples became stone anxiety, Ago like gargoyles, somewhere in between haunting and humor. My nipples, rock solidly responding to clitoral twitching, feels like discovery. Dios me está vigilando, God scanning my seven year old exploration, condemning the crazy frolicking of my own playground. Un pecado. Sinning. Dios me llamó puta. And today the water carries my body, and my body carries trauma. My sharp nipples became stone anxiety. And does the past still exist in some physical place? Seven years old and wrong like ten years later. Algo holds memory. Seeking for holy answers in sex with strangers. Wrong like conversations from family on budding sexuality. I hold my vagina palpitating in my hand. Exploding. Capital H, he hammered whore into my psyche. Capital H, he historically punished pleasure and sent her to hell. Only had horny sin guilt to guide me through the journey. I hold my vigil. My body knows the answer, anchor and sight. My mouth starts pronunciation of the why in my and body. And if my body stayed in water long enough, would it decompose into H2O? But I'm all CO2 as I exhale. Time passes. And water has concentrations of pollution. And polluted water condenses too. And if I become water, I'll be clouds too. And I'll fall in fragmented infinity droplets. I've been so focused on fire. My sharp nipples became stone anxiety. I forgot the value of water. The healing. The shedding, the strength, the renewal, the power of water in massive quantity. One little droplet times ten to the billionth power is strength. It's disguised in a little droplet, little mini splash of whoosh, whoosh. And the water carries my body, and therefore I float on clouds. 